Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of Sims 101 and today as you can see up here it's love day and we are going to go on a date with Vincent so let's just oh I didn't plan this he was going to okay I, I was he was going to go out with um with Liberty and she's just called him which is awesome did not plan that in the slightest all right let's just pause for a second because that's really put me off I was going to say we're, um, like I said we're going to do um, romance and Vincent and Liberty have hit it off pretty well and I've played we'll play them for a little bit I got their relationship up if you hover over your your the sim that your target sim you can see above their head there's a little meter and it will give you tell you who the person is and what your relationship with them is so um they did she liberty came over to the house a couple of times they did a bit of cloud gazing once they become friends then you have an option to give another sim um an apartment key or a residence key so vincent did that for liberty so that means she can come over whenever she feels like i was going to do this episode on you know love and romance and then liberty calls so we can do that here so liberty's invited him out to the discotheque not sure why but for love day let's see they want to do romantic socials they want to go on a date and they want to give flowers but i think we'll just get them let's see Give Love Day gift. Oh, we don't have anything. I don't think she'd appreciate any of those. Um, more choices. And because they're already out on an event, I don't think they'll be able to do a date. Liberty is single. Okay. Uh, more choices. Romance. Flirt. So, Let's go in a little bit. Oh, Liberty's liking ah, that. Um, flirt again. Kaluba. <laughs> Uh, where's she gone? Did she go in? Has she gone away? What's she doing? I mean, she forgot she invited him there. But she just disappeared. Which suggests to me... Hey, it sounds too music. <laughs> but no, Liberty's just disappeared. Which suggests to me she's... She's left a lot. Okay. Well, Vincent, let's go home. Let's go home and let's see if we can salvage this. Again. Okay, Liberty. Let's go. She's gone to a different nightclub. That is strange. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, let's try yes. again. More choices. Romance. Exchange numbers. But I mean, they've already got numbers. I don't get the whole exchange numbers business. Because you'll get it even when you're a, a good friend with somebody and you know them, or they live with you, you still have to exchange numbers. <laughs> Throw Love Day confetti. Mm, yeah. Um, yeah, you can't do Ask on a Date because they're in the middle of a social, in, social event. <laughs> Oh, now we're getting a little bit of a, a love meter here. <laughs> Is she going again? Romance. Confessed attraction. Come on, Liberty. Look away from your phone. Let's see what we can get going here. Oh, 
Because you've only got a couple of hours left for Vincent to get a good romance day. Love day. Um, embrace. See, now the conversation's changed to flirty. So as it gets more intense, then the conversation will change. Give Love Day gift. Let's try giving her the earbuds and see if she likes it. Now it's a suggestive conversation. Oh, she likes the earbuds. That's good. Go away, famous lady. Confess attraction. Now it's got, oh, it's an amorous exchange. Okay, so that's going up the next level. Let's see if we can get a first kiss. Famous lady, please get out. And as is the norm with with Sims, things always happen really fast. So with um with some of the Sims games, you can go from, you know, not knowing each other to getting married on the same day, and it's all very funny. Okay, hold hands. Um, kiss. Why can't he invite her to stay the night? Oh, you can't start a date and oh, that's that's a that's classed as a date. Okay, I didn't know that. Um, blow a kiss. Whisper seductively. I mean, let's just spam all the all the romantic stuff. All choices. Suave kiss, because he's feeling confident. <laughs> that is quite funny. Um, romance. Ask to be girlfriend. That's what we're aiming for. Let's turn around. Garza? <laughs> and now their their romance meters jumped up, and the ex and now they're very flirty. So can you ask her to stay the night now? Sexy pose. Let's do that. And can we ask her to move in? That might be a choice at this point. Not seeing that yet. Okay, let's pause for one second. Um, romance. I just saw passionate kiss. There you go. And also, more choices, actions. Okay. Oh, dance party. I didn't even notice that. The dance party's going on. All right. Vincent, you go and use the bath. Oh, you're back. And he's come back for his passionate kiss. <laughs> I thought he went to use the bathroom. But let's see if we can be enticing. We probably won't get the option to move in because they're in the middle of a, an event. But I'm sure you get the idea. You just keep spamming romance, romance stuff until... Because at the moment now they're very flirty, which is brilliant. That's what you want. Right, let's fast forward a little bit. Although Love Day might finish while he's in the bathroom at this rate. It looks like it's going to finish at this rate. And Liberty's gone to use the bathroom. Yeah, it's going to finish.
Love Day was awful. Well, he got everything that you will. I guess because he didn't do the specific love things, um, he didn't, you know, he didn't go out on a date, he didn't give flowers. So by that criteria, they're judging it as awful. But, you know, he's gone out on a date with Liberty. Let's end that so short and let's see if we can, let's see if we can invite her to come back. Right, Liberty just became good friends with him. Let's pause it there. Let's find Liberty. There's Vincent. Where did Liberty go? Did she leave? I think she may have just left the lot. I can't find her anywhere. That's something that Sims do as well. They just disappear. I think she's left the lot now that the event is over. She's gone because she left and turned towards the fireplace but there's nowhere for her to go okay well then Vincent you can go home and leave oh. <laughs> okay his needs are okay oh he doesn't start work for another three days which is excellent okay well you can go to bed and then we'll pick up with Liberty in the morning so now it's the next morning and we want to invite Liberty over to the house. So you click on relationships, you look for the person that you want to invite over. And if you hover over them, you can see all the, um, all the ties that you have to them. So he's in a, he's, he's her lover her boyfriend, he's also, they're also neighbours because she's just down the road. Um, she holds a key to his apartment or his house and he knows that she's a geek but he doesn't know anything else about her and then he can also see what life stage she's at and also what she does. So you click on it and is it not, you don't get the option to invite over, maybe she might be at work. Send a happy text because there was an option before. It could be that she's at work. No, she's not. No, she's not at work. Oh, she's just come over. There you go. Oh, she's not on the door. But usually when you have the apartment key, they just come in. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, let's see what options we have. More choices, friendly. Do we have Ark to move in? And they want to take the step together. Oh, they're kissing autonomously. Yes, let's ask to move in. World is very large. So you'll get this dialog box when you ask to move in. You click OK. So click OK to go to household split and merge to modify which sims will live in which households. So in her case, she has two other roommates. I could all I could bring them over, but I'm not going to. But I just want Liberty to come over. So you click on the sim you want to come over and you pick the arrow to transfer the sim. And then if there was somebody that wanted that you wanted to move out on this side, so for example, I could move Yogi over into the BFF household and they would move, but we're not going to do that. We just want Liberty to come over. And so she's over here now. So the new household will be Vincent, Yogi and Liberty. And you click OK. So let's pause a second. Once a Sim moves in, then you get control over them. So Liberty is here first, so she's probably older than Vincent. Let's see when she ages up. Um, Simology. And 16 days before she ages up. With Vincent, it's 17, yeah, so she's slightly older. It's only a day or so. So it's nothing, nothing awful. 
because sometimes I've moved in a sim only to find out they're a day away from aging into an elder or something, which is really annoying. But once you've got control, once this sim moves in, you can control them. So we can go through her wardrobe. If you click on a dresser or a mirror, we have a dresser and a mirror and we plan outfits oh yogi doesn't like the radio she still doesn't like the radio all right vincent we need liberty turn off we need liberty i should probably put an umbrella stand by the door little lex aurora so now i can change her outfit and i like the jeans and i like the top and i like the hat but i don't like them together so, let's do a quick makeover for Liberty. I'm liking that for Liberty. And the only other thing I really like to change is their nightwear. I don't know why. Oh, actually, hers is okay. She's not wearing slippers. <laughs> a lot of the times they wear slip. They wear slippers. Oh, suddenly her hair has gotten shorter. But I mean, this is just for. That's interesting. Usually, when you change their hair for every day, it will change it across the board. But that's fine. So now you have your sims living together, what do you do? Well, usually what I would do... Oh, she's neat as well. She'll take stuff out, which is awesome. Oh, you've gone back in the bath, Vincent. But usually I will get them doing lots of romantic stuff until we get them to propose. And you'll notice that this comes up, woohoo, which is sim talk for sex. Obviously, they're not going to say have sex in the game. So you have that. And that is an option, which is good. But we're going to wait until the relationship meter is a little bit higher. Sometimes you have to tell them the same thing over and over. Because it gets lost in whatever, I don't know. But they're both reading, that's good. They seem to have a lot in common. And also, Liberty loves Yogi. She really hit it off with Yogi. Oh, he's going to give her a massage. Liberty said yes. She's wearing her ring, she's very happy. And it wouldn't be a Sims game if they didn't have a wedding in the kitchen. No, it's on him. Okay, elope immediately with Liberty. So they could get married right now, or they could plan a wedding event. But I tend for them to elope right now. Because it's not going to be the Sims if they're not getting married in the kitchen or the bathroom. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> They still keep their names. Oh, who's at the door? Okay, yeah. They still this that you don't have the option to change the name. Let us go back into change sim. So that would be Lee. Let's double. I like to double barrel it so I know where they've come from. Hairston. That doesn't look right. Hairston. Yep, that's right. And relationships walk. She's got the goofy walk. Yeah, feminine. I do like the feminine walk. All right. So that's that. So you can change their last name if you want to. You can double barrel it, you can keep it the same. You can change it to one person or the other. It doesn't really, it depends how you want to play. 
like I said, I tend to be quite traditional. For the final thing, before we finish the episode, like I said, the sim, once a sim is in a relationship with somebody, if you click on a bed or there's other locations as well, I'll leave that, I'll leave it for you to find out where, where they can. But if you click on the bed, you get an option for to woohoo, which as I said is sim speak for sex or you get an option to try for baby and let's go try for baby so they're going to stand there with their books i don't know if they actually want to but there you go they have the little dialogue they get all very excited and for those of you who are wondering it's all very you know it's all very tame very g-rated as you will see they get into bed they get under the covers and then you just see the covers jumping around so it's nothing for those of you who are wondering, you know, should I let my kids play or whatever, it's it's nothing nothing awful to look at. It's all very tame and very G rated. So you see lots of love hearts. Lots of bouncing around. And that is to what that's to sleep. And then afterwards they'll go to sleep. And now Liberty's awake. Let's see if you're pregnant. If you click, either you can click on the toilet and take a pregnancy test, or you can just leave it for a surprise and see what happens. But I want to see what happens before so we can end the episode. Go on, Liberty. Go on, quickly. Quick! No, you don't want to. So they use the toilet. You get 15 Samoans taken out. And Liberty's expecting which is a brilliant way to end the episode. So in the next episode, we're going to be looking at children, raising children up to teens, which is a lot easier in The Sims than it is in real life. I can tell you that. But in this episode, Liberty and Vincent, they brought their relationship to the next level. They had a very brief romance and they got married into the in the short tradition of sims everywhere thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe it really helps to grow my channel i'll see you in the next episode Bye bye